Hello, everyone, and welcome to What's New in OCI. I have three pieces of news for you today. In March, Oracle released Oracle Enterprise Landing Zone version 2, and we've now added two new OELZ templates to empower you with scalability and flexibility. The workload expansion template enables you to easily scale your workloads in cloud by setting up the infrastructure on top of the existing OELZ to host a three-tier application, web, app, and database. The Exadata expansion template can allow you to integrate and prepare the environment to host your Exadata infrastructure within the OELZ. Both templates improve automation, simplify migration, and offer even more agility. Stack Monitoring has also released new support, most recently for Service-Oriented Architecture, SOA, and OCI tags. With Stack Monitoring, you can automatically discover all SOA applications deployed on a web logic domain and automatically discover SOA components and the underlying stack. We provide out-of-the-box metrics and homepages where insight about health and performance can be easily viewed, as well as easy drill downs and cross-stack troubleshooting of issues. And by using OCI tags, you can find your resources more easily. And finally, we have general availability of E5 instances on AMD EPIC processors for up to two times better performance. E5 instances support reboot resizing, so you can easily migrate from your existing compute instances to an E5 instance of compatible shape. In performance testing, the E5 standard bare metal instances and VM instances outperformed the previous E4 generations in both absolute performance and price performance. For more technical details and resources, including how to migrate instances, check out the links below. And next, let's hear from Shig. Thanks, Kenna, and hello, everyone. I have four items to share this month. First, artificial intelligence, or AI, is fundamentally changing the way we interact with the world. This is especially true with generative AI, where its models combine the ability to assimilate knowledge from many sources and use it to automate tasks and enhance human creativity and productivity. Using this technology, organizations can summarize documents, build tables, create new and meaningful text, generate code, and synthesize ideas. Many vendors are moving quickly in this space, including Oracle. Greg Pavlik, Senior Vice President for OCI, fills you in on what you can expect from Oracle and how our offerings will address the specific end-to-end -end needs of enterprises. Check out his blog in the link below. Next, to meet rapidly growing global demand from public sector organizations, we announced a new Oracle Cloud for Australian Government of Defense in Canberra. Offering over 100 services, the new region is a complete and highly secure hyperscale cloud platform that allows customers to build and run applications. It is physically isolated from Oracle's other public and government cloud regions and shares no backbone connection with them, including the existing Sydney and Melbourne public regions that are available to all Oracle cloud customers. With this new offering, Australian federal, state, and local government customers, along with their service providers, will benefit from OCI's high performance, security, powerful data analytics, and distributed cloud capabilities. And third, we're very excited to announce our latest addition to the Oracle Distributed Cloud Portfolio. Oracle Compute Cloud at Customer is a fully managed rack scale infrastructure platform that lets organizations run enterprise applications, middleware, and cloud native workloads on OCI Compute in their data center. It's built, installed, owned, and remotely managed by Oracle so you can focus resources on growing your business and improving operating efficiency. If you have middleware and application workloads that could use a performance boost and need to meet data residency and security requirements with a simple cost-effective cloud consumption model, this new offering is worth checking out. So far, our video series has focused on bringing you up to speed with the latest news on OCI services, and we hope we've succeeded in that mission. Going forward, we'll be adding useful resources on how to use OCI services to address real world problems. This month, we feature the latest webinar from our Ask the Architect series, Learn How to Design Cyber Resilient Solutions for Hybrid Cloud. Learn OCI best practices to protect, detect, and recover from cyber attacks from our cloud engineering experts. This is a key topic for all OCI users, so do check out the webinar via the link below. That's all for now, but before we wrap, a quick reminder that Cloud World our biggest annual event is taking place September 18th through the 21st in Las Vegas, Nevada. We have hundreds of sessions planned from keynotes and deep dives to learning sessions and hands-on labs. Whether in person or digitally, we look forward to having you join us. And this is the first episode in our new home. So if you enjoyed this video and want to see more, we would greatly appreciate if you can hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and share this video with your friends and colleagues. See you next time.
Hey, did you like what you learned? Make sure to check out this video or this link, and of course, subscribe now.